Hello everyone. My name is Natalia Tunkin and I am a Ukrainian Wikipedia editor and admin and I'm also uh, the chair of the Wikimedia Foundation Board of Trustees. I'm very glad to be here, at least in this format, uh, though of course I'm very sorry to not be able to share the space of an in-person meeting with all of you. Gender gaps are a strategic issue overall for the movement. Gender gaps, and not just the gap, because I don't think that we have a luxury of saying that we have only a content gap, a gender gap. Uh, we also have a gender gap in readership, we have gender gap in our um, governance positions, in affiliates, in communities. Uh, in 2019, the study showed that um, two thirds of our readers are males. They generate 72% of page views. As of now, only 18.5% of our content is um, related to females, uh, including biographies. A study of 2020 shown that um, only 15% of our contributors are females. These numbers, of course, show the distorted reality we are living in. Uh, just by improving things on wiki projects, we won't be able to change how the real world uh, spins. But we can do something. It actually can be improved, uh, to my mind, through wiki projects. As of now, the only so-called organic way to get uh, editors is through our content. We have content, people find it interesting, or people find it missing, or people find, find it incorrect, and they feel the urge to edit. They edit, they create more content, engage more people, more different people, uh, those people read, those people uh, want to edit, and so on and so forth. The problem is that if our content is relevant only to concepts, mostly, uh, less uh, women start even editing. And um, the, an example that I want to use is an um, example from my own country. As you may know, there is a war happening in Ukraine. For us, it has been going on since 2014. If you ask some historians, it has been going on for centuries. And the world, the rest of the world, mostly woke up to the war on February 24, 2022. Since 2014, uh, more females joined the army than ever before. Three times, almost three times more females are serving now than they had like nine years ago. But still, the military history, just like all other kind of histories, are written by men. So the books, the materials, the information that is being published, shared, is mostly talking about males as being the defenders and not females. Um, it's uh, historically, warfare was a male's sphere, male's profession. But was it? Just recently, I uh, came across an article um, published in, in Ukraine about uh, that was challenging the foundation of what I knew and what I was taught uh, in, in, uh, during my school uh, years about history of military, uh, military sphere in Ukraine. Uh, we were taught that our, uh, our defenders were mostly men, but it seems that it was not uh, so uh, in reality. Uh, of course, it is more difficult to find bits of that information because it's usually hidden in folk folklore, in folk songs, in uh, tales. But researchers were able to find that, yes, there were 
uh, females that were even leading units of uh, Cossacks uh, fighting uh, for Ukrainian freedom. Um, and their identity was, of course, hidden. It was a secret identity. No one knew that they were females. For years, uh, only by mistake or after their death, uh, it was re- the secret was re- revealed. And, you know, um, it just shows that men were writing history, men were, um, men were publishing books, uh, men were researching the subjects. Uh, so, as usual, even in military history, females were just written out. The beauty of Wikipedia is that it gives a um, very quick, easy access to uh, the information. Um, the issue of Wikipedia is that it also gives this access to uh, information that is perpetrating the biases, the existing biases. Wikipedians can't do, uh, can't make changes alone. Wikipedians need sources. And the research in this sphere is an absolute and vital direction to my mind. As it is more difficult to find um, to find information that is not uh, mainstream and requires more efforts, requires more work, requires more uh, resources to actually look for things that may um, give us a better understanding of the reality. And um, to sum it up. Uh, I'm very glad we have this event on gender gap research. And um, I have great hopes that the energy and the connections forged during this in-person event will help us change things and how they are. Um, uh, Research uh, just from March 15 uh, that was done by Wikimedia Foundation showed um, that indeed the articles on Wikipedia uh, are showing that men are mostly elected to their positions, whereas females are kind of married to their notability. And way more um, information about personal life is a usual part of a female biography than it is for men. I thank you for being there. I thank you for your work. I um, hope that you are going to have a great and productive event. And I hope to see you sometime, somewhere, online or offline, in the reality um, of our world. Thank you all. Bye.